every city has its good points and its bad points. The other thing that nobody mentions are the shocking things because every city has some shocking truths that no one seems to tell you about. Today I'm sharing some of the shocking truths about living in Sarasota or just Florida in general that no one may have told you about, so stick around. Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out my YouTube channel. I am Lisa McBride with Cali Williams Realty Select in Sarasota and Lakewood Ranch. If you have not done so already, I would love it if you would subscribe as I post new videos every week about living and working and just thriving here in Sarasota. I talk about a lot of different neighborhoods and I share my experiences with the good and the bad. Now let's dive in. There are definitely a few things that I have found a little shocking, a little surprising, maybe a little perplexing even. The number one thing that I want to talk about is something that does not get brought up nearly enough, in my opinion, and that is the level of scams and frauds that take place in the state of Florida. Did you know there is more fraud and scams in Florida than any other state in the nation? For instance, Curious why our homeowner's insurance costs are higher here? Well, what is due in large part to our extreme storms? So, you know, the hurricanes are the number one reason that insurance costs can be high. It is not odd for someone to come to your door after a storm of any size and claim that they can fix your roof and get paid directly from your insurance company. The next thing you know, someone has started the repair and takes off. We see and hear a lot about contractors and others beginning a job and never finishing. So be sure to work with reputable companies, get recommendations and referrals, and really dive deep into someone's background when hiring them. The next thing that I have found a little perplexing, and I wasn't really sure why this is a norm here, but all of the mirrors on the walls. If you start looking at homes in Florida, you're definitely gonna find at least one, if not two of the homes you're looking at will have mirrors on one of the walls. Now, I love a good mirror, and I think it's great for reflecting light, and it, a decorative mirror is gorgeous. However, a whole wall of mirrors is just one of these shocking things about living in Florida and I've heard the trend is coming back as being very in style. Now did you know that over 4 million people visit Sarasota every year? I'm guessing most of that is going to be in February, March, and April because the crowds and the traffic are definitely at a peak. Now speaking of beaches, Sarasota has 13 public beaches and over 35 miles of powdery soft sand. Siesta Key is the most noteworthy beach with its white powder court sand it's just so fine and it has volleyball courts and sand castle festivals and drum circles and so much more but we also have turtle beach at the southern tip of siesta key or drive out to longboat key or visit Lido beach or casey key there's so many wonderful beaches now with beach comes water sarasota county is actually 42 percent water which is ideal for boaters sunbathers anglers and for gazing out at sunsets with over two dozen marinas two boat clubs and multiple options to spend a day on the water we are really living in paradise we talk about animals all the time in Florida and Sarasota definitely has you covered when it comes time to check out our native wildlife for instance, if you really do want to see an alligator in its natural habitat, then plan a morning out at Mayaka State Park. Hike out to Deep Hole. This hike is a little over two miles one way, and you do have to get a pass at the park early in the morning because they only hand out 30 passes a day. As you venture out, you're going to see egrets, heron, ibis, vultures, and many, many other creepy crawly things that you may not want to. It is so much fun to watch these amazing animals sun themselves along the Mayaka River. Beds. Now speaking of Mayaka, we also have Mayaka Elephant Ranch. Whether it's an African or Asian elephant, Mayaka Elephant Ranch is a conservation area that is really here to help enlighten, educate, and provide a knowledge and experience regarding these massive mammals. It is a great day trip and children really do adore this adventure. So if you're bringing your family here and you're not sure what to do, definitely check out the Mayaka Elephant Ranch. Not to outshine our gators and elephants, you can also visit Big Cat Habitat. This is an ever-growing large animal rescue here in Sarasota County. It was originally founded in 1987 as a nonprofit, and it's a home for exotic animals that need placement, and it works to educate the public about animal care and conservation. Now, Big Cat Habitat is a labor of love with all the income generated for admission that goes into feeding and caring for the animals. This Big Cat Rescue is not in any way related to 
to anything Carol Baskin and her big cat farm in Tampa. Now looking for that infamous fountain of youth? Well, the city of Northport, which is located in the southern tip of Sarasota County, is home to one of the only natural warm springs in Florida with a consistent average temperature of 85 degrees year round. Warm Mineral Springs Park provides visitors with a number of therapeutic and recreational options. The spring is rumored to have one of the highest mineral contents of the, any of the natural springs in the United States. It's very highly mineralized and it is known for its healing qualities. And this park actually attracts over 100,000 visitors annually. The springs in the buildings are listed on the U.S. National Registry of Historic Places. It has been noted that there is evidence of prehistoric men in that area. At Warm Mineral Springs, you will also find a day of relaxation and spa services. Also to note, Northport is one of the fastest growing cities in Sarasota County. Its average price is about 30% less than in Sarasota, so you can see why a lot of people are just driving about 30 minutes south to check out Northport. The National Weather Service says that Florida is the lightning capital of the country, with more people actually dying of lightning strikes than any other state in the United States. So when those storms come up, be prepared because lightning is definitely going to strike. Now Sarasota is fondly named the Circus City, and I talk about the influence of John Ringling in another video, so be sure to check out my other video five things no one tells you about Sarasota. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we have good and we have bad. And today I shared a few shocking facts about living in Sarasota. If you have any questions or there's anything that I can do to be of help, please don't hesitate to give me a call. I do really appreciate you watching. And as always, until next time, take care.